Plenty. Yeah, I'd uh, probably say about 10, I guess. Yeah, I've been here many times because I grew up up the road. So these boys have been coming here since they were babies here. We, um, we always come here. It's a good place to play. That was amazing. We first walked into the shed. I mean, most people would just see all the, the rubbish and stuff on the, the, um, the ground, but you just look at the walls and it's like, yeah, wow. It's really beautiful. That was so artistic. Just so amazing. Uh, I'm from New York City and there's a place similar to this called Five Points, but um, it's not an old train station. I just didn't expect it to be this awesome, so it's, it's mind boggling yes. and beautiful. That's the perfect place to take yeah. photographs. And I think it's a good place for graffiti artists as well to practice yeah, their art yeah. as well. <laughs> this is a nice little escape. And can you believe it? It's in the middle of a city. I know. We have no. too much, too many skyscrapers, too much clean stuff. It's nice to, to get out with some dirt. And, you know. yeah. It's very artistic. The only place that I can think that compares um, in terms of quality and quantity and it's probably not quantity, but um, it's Hosea in Melbourne, Hosea Lane, because of, you know, the, the amount of, of work that's up on the walls there and, and that it gets people from overseas come and put pieces up. There's not many places like this left, are there? Really? I mean, where you can just have good old-fashioned fun. One of the most beautiful and individual places in the world, probably, like graffiti centres are. Um, so to knock it down and put stupid condos in is an absolutely terrible idea. I mean, it sucks, but that's that's part of it, you know. Like, um, I wish there were more spots. Yeah, that's that's the way of the world. Like, you know, I wish there were more spots like this to paint at. Like, you know, nice chill spots to get your big open spots to get your creative juices flowing, but. You know, there's not as me, me as a single individual. I can't do much to change what you know, what the guys with money are going to do. So, yeah. I think it's a shame. Yeah, it's a, I think they should keep it as their urban heritage or something like that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, like if they wanted to fix up some of the walkways and stuff, because it is a bit hazardous. Yeah. But um, I don't think they should knock it down. I mean, you just look at all the culture. I mean, every wall tells a different story, and somebody else's story. There's so many different people who have yeah. come here and put their tags down, or you know, came and take taken photographs. And so many models have these pictures, this background in their portfolio. I really think that yeah. they could do so much more with the space than to just knock it down. Yeah, just make it ordinary. Well, I think it's pretty sad that they do that, but I can understand that that the land value here would be massive and someone's going to want to make money out of it and there's no one making money out of it like this but it's a real shame that it, they would lose all this i see it as culture the people that are serious the people that have done the really good stuff around here that they'll find places to do it um, but it would be a shame not to be able to come and see it all in one place like this it's a pity but it's very transient in its nature i think the space like this so there'll be more to replace it. It's going to be something like the green grocers and also a gym. So like one of the big green grocer groups. Um, it's going to be 7,000 square metres of retail 